All right, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on this Friday night, party night, September 4th, 2020, about 8.36 p.m. West Coast time out here in California. Taking a look at the earthquake 3D globe out here. Green flag indicating the most recent earthquake there on the globe, a 3.1 down there in Southern California, looks like. Uh, activity is still kind of moderate in that region. Uh, earthquake activity appears on the uptick up here around Puerto Rico, or at least just south of there. Also around the, uh, well, let's see, I think this is, let's check this area out here real quick where this 4.7 struck. Right around Venezuela region uh, is where that activity is at 4.7. Uh, just kind of an increase in there. Not a big increase, but definitely uh, seen some uh, movement down there uh, within that region. There's a new segment I'm going to be doing here uh, along with my nightly videos. Every night, you know, I try to get in an update video. Uh, and when I do, I'm going to include a new segment called Today, or at least This Day in Earthquake History. And we we'll go back and check out uh, an earthquake that may have happened on September 4th, uh, 1990, or, or 1900, or 1840. Uh, and do a little bit of uh, investigation and show some uh, uh, relevant information on that said earthquake there that struck on this day in history. So it's going be, gonna to be a new segment. It will be after, or at least it will be towards the end of this video uh, and in the future towards the end of um, update videos. But uh, continuing with the update video itself here, there's that 4.7 down there near Venezuela that we just checked out. Another latest earthquake down there south of the Guatemala region, 4.1. And looking at that 3.1 there in uh, Southern California, looks like it's just south of the Ridgecrest region there see that there just just on the southern edge I believe of that fracture zone we have to go back to the all magnitudes here to check that out yeah kind of right there in the mix so uh, just your standard aftershock activity for the most part and the sequence of quakes there also in Nevada still seeing a pretty good aftershock uh, sequence there nothing really new to report up here in the Pacific Northwest Idaho still seeing uh, some minor earthquake activity up here around Seattle as well a 2.3 but the majority of this earthquake activity uh, on the micro quake range they're pretty uh, pretty small uh, for that matter so the rest of the globe here go ahead and back out a little bit here and check this out looks pretty uh, not super active right a lot of fives popping up of course, this is all very typical activity out here in this region of the world, the Pacific Ring of Fire, and also up there uh, off the coast of Russia there. So other than that, folks, not a whole lot to report. Um, even Chile region down there is starting to calm down a little bit following their uh, earthquake uh, fit, <laughs> earthquake fit, if you will, uh, a couple days ago. Uh, so for example, uh, this is just going to be a short intro into the new segment that I'm going to be doing here far as uh, um, you know this day in earthquake history I could either go off of anything that USGS puts out or uh, any other factual data um, source out there so for example on today September 4th 1899 there was an M7.9 earthquake near Cape uh, looks like what is that Yakutaga? Yeah, Kataga, somewhere around there. I'm going to have to look at these pronunciations, right? But this is kind of just giving you a uh, little bit of uh, peek into what I'm going to be doing as far as the earthquake maps and whatnot uh, I will be showing. Wikipedia does have quite a bit of uh, information on any specific earthquake that we may mention back here. Of course, uh, during the 1899 period, there was definitely a severe uh, series of severe earthquakes in the region. Uh, in Alaska. The most powerful of these occurred on September 10th, but that was the 8.0. The 7.9 struck around uh, September uh, September 4th, 1899, but still quite a bit of earthquake activity within that year uh, for the folks here in Alaska. Uh, and of course the subduction area up there, no stranger to earthquakes at all. Very, very active uh, throughout history and it's still active in our into our times. But so yeah, it'll be a, a new segment and we'll go through and we'll look at the, uh, uh, the data when it comes to 
um, you know, the shake maps and whatnot. I was going to do this four, this uh, 5.5 that struck there in New York State. State, <laughs> New York State. Can you tell I barbecue a lot? I'm barbecuing right now. Uh, New York State, uh, but this was September 5th, so that's technically tomorrow. But uh, you can go back on to this earthquake here in 1944. And, uh, well, uh, they don't have a shake map on this one, it doesn't look like. Probably way too far back there in the... Uh, um, in the scale, let's see, 1944. Most of these, though, this 2002 will definitely have one. This 5.3. Well, maybe not. Well, there we go. Yeah. So you can check out um, the did you fill it responses from back then. Uh, also, you know the shake areas and intensity and whatnot. And if if there is any a summary on the specific earthquake that took place back in history there. So. Just gonna be a little thing uh, that I will introduce into the nightly update videos when I can. I'll try to get it every night. Um, I, like I said, I had a few people recommend it or at least ask if I could maybe do some history uh, when it comes to you know earthquakes in the past. So I thought what better way uh, to implement uh, a little new segment by doing um, in this day, you know, this day in history as far as earthquake activity goes. And we'll probably include um, a volcanic activity and solar weather data, you know, as far as like maybe possibly some solar flares or uh, extreme coronal burst. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll implement that into the segment. And um, I, I think it'd be pretty cool to add a little bit of uh, spice onto the update videos there. But uh, that's just kind of like a little sample of what I'll be doing. And tomorrow night we'll officially start that and uh, then we'll go from there. So have a good night, folks. We're going to jump off here. I got to watch my chicken out there on the barbecue. I'm not cooking any New York steak tonight, but uh, chicken is just as good in, in my book. So have a good one. Stay safe out there. We'll talk at you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace.